Eight. Let's start with my Oceanic BioCube 29. Well, this tank been running for almost two and a half years actually. Well, a lot of things I've changed. Um, I changed the lighting for one thing. Um, I'm using LED lighting mounting now. I have five fish in here. Um, two green comas that never really come out unless it's feeding time. That's about it. They hide in the corner if you see them on the top white. Right. Well, I have two clownfish here. I had them for approximately two years actually. So yeah. Uh, here's a flame angel that I could actually finally <laughs> able to cut. Um, and this is actually my fourth attempt to try to cap keep a fourth uh, angel. Flame Angel, um, the first three of them, the first one lasted a week and died, and the second one died in two days. The third one, I don't really remember, like four days maybe. This one has been three weeks, and it's doing really well, east, um, east all my pellets, uh, loves to graze on a rock, loves to pick on the glass, but I did that. Anyway, here's my coil, here's my Zonius Dragonette. Got my torch coil. Got my tooth coil. Pretty neat, huh? Um, got two pump. Uh, both 425 gallon GPH. Um, one, both of the same brand, both hydro. Uh, one is just nano, and the other one is just number one. You know. Let's see, and as for another bit, I have four shrimp, one cleaner, three peppermint shrimp. I have the peppermint shrimp to just get rid of the aptasia in my tank that I had before. I had a, I have a sea urchin, uh, a couple of blue lake hermit, um, a few, actually three brown hermit crab. I think I have two red lake crab, but barely see those. I have plenty of snails. Got turbo snails. Let's see, actually got like a couple of huge turbo snails. Got one assorted snail. Yeah, but uh, this tank is roughly about 20 to 25 pounds of live rock. I'm using a heater that been with this tank since I bought it. Uh, well, I bought this heater from Walmart. Because back then, <laughs> I did not have money to buy a good heater. But the heater is actually doing really well. It's pre-adjust to uh, 78 degrees so Fahrenheit. Uh, well, you see the lighting change. Now let's see what's in the back. Let's see, I have macroalgae, red, green, uh, I think I have Cheetos in here, yeah. Um, first chamber, I'm wanting the regular stock cartridge, carbon by Viacube, and a sponge. And down here I'm wanting two, I mean one fire scar, and one chemi pair, carbon. Uh, I did a filter pad wrapped around a sponge, so as the water goes through, all the sand and debris will get cut on the filter pad, and all the huge chunk will just get stuck in the sponge. And I'm using a Quiet of Life skimmer, uh, 115. It's doing a really good skimming. You see all the foam on the top. The, w the water is nice brown tea, or if you don't want tea, you know, tea is always good. There, you can see it's nice and green. That's why I like, well, I mean, I don't like it, but that's why I like to see that it's been skimming out of the tank. Um, I had to modify it when I bought it. Uh, I had to see. Over here used to be a small elbow uh, for air intake. Uh, Sometimes the water will overlap it and get stuck in the cup. And also, uh, it'll be really loud. So, what I did is I took out the elbow. I attach a regular air hose into the air hose that's attached to the pump. Uh, make sure it was tight so no water would slip through. And then here's the elbow joint that I took out and I used it for a connector here instead. See? This is the elbow that was here, but I attached it here. And then I have a. Uh, this air hose is from the old skim I had. It was the Oceanic BioQ29, I mean, protein skimmer. That I got rid of because, um, you know, it's not worth it for that. Always have to replace the limestone just to get a good skimming on it. I'd rather just get a new one. Well, this was actually a gift, so yeah. But so, the 
airline attached to this. And then I have this, like, I think it's roughly about more than five feet long. I have it placed all the way to the bottom here, and you can barely hear no sound. Um, there is one fan. The other fan doesn't work, so I took it out. Um, this is the intake, this is the outtake, but I'm since I'm using LED, and I don't keep it on that long, so it shouldn't overheat. I only keep it on for eight hours. But if it does overheat, I would turn on the fan. I'm planning to change fans anyway, so I'll wait to that. Anyways, I'm just wanting a regular lamp back here that uh, is keeping my plants glowing. Other than that, it's pretty decent. Alright, thank you for watching. And, as always, have a nice day.